Some of you may be asking why I'm choosing to do this to my hair again. I think it's completely evident now that I just don't care about my hair anymore. Today, it's the video that you've all been waiting for. The sequel. A part two, if you will. I do my roots with the same product. I am underslept and over caffeinated. I apologize for my terrible humor. I actually used a whole bottle of this last time and it got me curious if it would actually work as a root retouch product. And I thought, why not buy another bottle and give it a go? Last time it took me five applications to get to this color. However, I don't want to go that blonde again because it was throwing those copper tones. I want to just give it maybe two or three applications. We'll see how we go. Let's get into the application application process. Last time to do the roots, I literally just threw it up in a high ponytail and like sprayed it all. And it kind of worked. So I'm going to try it again. Look, I never claimed to be a hairdresser, okay? There's going to be many things wrong with this video. My roots are coming in hot. Look at how dark they are. Here's a screen grab of how light my hair went in the other video. Although I do like key think I suit this color better. So, don't know what I'm about to do really, but all in the name of hair science. Look, <laughs> alfalfa. It'll do for what's about to ensue. Let the spraying begin. <laughs> It's the familiar smell of hydrogen peroxide. Hello, old friend. Looks like it's burning my scalp. Please don't burn me. Ooh, it feels spicy. <coughs> Shiver me timbers. Now I'm gonna take my hair out to try and like comb it through with my fingers. Now that's a look. Oh my God, I look like Tarzan. <laughs> Oh. So in case you didn't see the last video, the hair lightening spray can be activated by either sunlight or by hair drying on a hot setting. So that's what I'm doing now. Welcome to my cavewoman cosplay. I just gave myself a huge nod. And for what? That is upsetting. It does lighten up a bit more like overnight and stuff. So I'm not gonna wash it out or anything at the moment. I'm gonna leave it in till tomorrow. When I do my second application on the bottle, it clearly outlines that you can only use up to once a day, so I don't want to fry my hair off. Hello, welcome to the second application of the Sunday Pear Spray. Sorry if the quality looks really different. My new camera just came in the mail, so if you get quality whiplash, sorry. So these are what the roots look like after last night's first application you can see they're starting to get more warm toned and they're definitely blending like with my blonde more definitely makes the roots appear less harsh so that's exciting but we still want to try and lift the color a bit more is it bad that i'm out of breath by putting my hair up into a ponytail <laughs> this really gives you a chance to see the warm tones that are coming through again on my roots there's not much more to say except Let's get on with the spray. Here she is again. Rise and shine, honey. It's time to spray again. Give it a good shake. I hope I'm doing the back even, but there's really no way to tell. <laughs> okay, now we're going to take out the hair just like we did last time. Here she is. I'm just going to kind of run my fingers through it again just to make sure it like goes through evenly. Okay, I'm gonna save you the montage of me drying my hair and I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'm gonna come back and show you the results. So just an update on the roots. Also, my hair is really greasy because I literally haven't washed it in like three days. My roots are a lot lighter. And I think I'll probably only need two more applications. I could be wrong. But as far as my actual like root blending is going, I think it's going well. Actually, let me do a back spin. 
I can't see it right now, but I'm sure I'll see it when I'm editing. I'm gonna laugh if there's like some major patches in the back. What application number is this again? Pretty sure it's number three. Anyways, let's get damp in the roots. I don't know what I'm saying. It's late, okay? I'm just gonna... I'll never get used to that smell. I don't know if you can see that, but that's how much I've used so far. Anyways, I'm gonna go blow dry. ka -chow. dark patch back there. Wait, wait, wait. I'll be right back. Don't move. Don't move. I feel like it's a good idea to have a look with my phone to see the back of my hair, so. I can't tell if there's a dark patch on my hair or if it's the white. I feel like that's like right at the base of the hair. It would make sense if I was missing that part because that's like around about where the ponytail would sit. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> Maybe I could just pull this little top bit of my hair up. This is a very poor effort of separating my hair. There's probably a big dark patch there, I just can't see it, so. I'm just gonna spray it blindly. Don't even know if I'm spraying the right spot. Hairdressers be crying right now. Is that a dark spot? Look, I'm just gonna spray whatever dark spot I find. This is probably doing nothing. Massage it through. I really didn't know how to go about this to be honest. And the head itchiness has begun. <laughs> anyway, we're actually closer to half a bottle now. I'm gonna go to bed now and hope that all my hair doesn't fall out because I technically re-sprayed it and re hair dried it and it says that you're you're not allowed to do this more than once a day technically. Does that count as twice? If I wake up bald tomorrow morning, y'all know why. Anyway, I'll see you for the next application. I'm back. My hair didn't burn off. I didn't go bald. And I know I said that I would be back for another application. However, look at my hair right now. It's a pretty decent color, right? It actually turned out better than I thought it would. So I don't feel like I have to do another application. If anything, another application would probably just like make me ginger or something. So I'm gonna say that we're done with this product. So final thoughts. For my hair personally, I would use this again as another touch up. If you wanna save a bit of cash and do it yourself. I don't know, am I crazy for liking this right now? I kind of expected it to go terribly. So I'm going to give it the stamp of approval and say that yes, it can be used as a root touch-up product. I have seen some other reviews on this product that say it dries your hair out, but personally, I actually like don't feel any dryness at all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of me and give this video a like and a comment because it really helps with my engagement um, and I would appreciate it that a lot so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one Whoosh.